Welcome back to Why We Buy It. Today we want to talk about something we came across in Copenhagen and it was a very unplanned sort of spur of the moment opportunity that we took advantage of and it ended up being a good thing. So the one thing that Cove and I always do when we travel anywhere is we're walkers. We love to walk, we love to explore, we love to check out all the unique little stores that are around anywhere. And when we were in Copenhagen, we did a walk through this one little street and Cove goes, I think that's a thrift store. And I was like, yeah, like, yeah, right. In Copenhagen with the prices here, with, they're not going to have a thrift store. Yes, they did. And it was amazing because, you know, every, okay, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to admit, everybody in Europe is gorgeous <laughs> and they dress really well. The Scandinavians. So I got very excited when I, like, when I saw the thrift store and I was like, oh my God, they're going to have more colors and more designs and it's going to be a little bit more high end because a lot of stores here are gray, black, dark blue, whatever. Basic clothing. Basic clothing that, you know, very neutral, right? So I was like, I got very excited for this thrift store. Yeah, and that was the case. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was a lot of designer items yes. that were available, a lot of colors, mm -hmm. a lot of patterns, clothes we don't usually see here. Right. And because we were in Copenhagen, we had already gotten used to the fact that a lot of things are expensive here. We didn't know what to expect price wise, but the prices were very fair. Yeah, they were great. <laughs> they were right. fantastic. Like we actually went in and we're like, well, just look like we're not going to come home with anything because, you know, we, we already knew that the prices are going to be high. The prices <laughs> were great. Um, this particular thrift store had three locations, I think, in Copenhagen. Yeah. Um, and it was just such a it was a great experience. So I, you know, had to look through every little nook and cranny that that thrift store had to offer. Uh, they had change rooms, which if you know me, I'm a huge fan of change rooms and thrift, <laughs> and thrift stores. And I did come away, I think I came away with two two skirts. Yeah. Yeah, and very I found, excited about And them. I found a vest there, which surprised me because I find it very hard to find vests that fit me. Mm -hmm. But again, the, the cuts in Europe are quite different than what they have here. Yeah. Right? A lot of the clothing we have for sale, even, I'm not even talking thrift stores, I'm just talking any regular clothing store, store, Yeah, is, is a very sort of casual cut because they wanted to fit as many people as possible. Whereas I find that a lot of European stores, even their sort of middle of the line stores, we're not talking high-end boutiques, they tend to have more options as far as cut because fit's so important in Europe. So I found items that fit me better than I ever find here. And at thrift store prices, again, it's, we're not talking super cheap. No. Okay? My vest was like 15 bucks, I think, in conversion. Yeah. Which but, is fair. Yeah. Right? Because a brand new vest here is going to cost me 50. Mm -hmm. So getting it for 15 there with a, a fit that I don't find here was amazing. Yeah. Your skirts were fantastic. Oh my God. My, I love right? my skirts. <laughs> I was having so much fun coming out of the change room. because <laughs> like, yeah. like everything fits. And yeah, like, like you said, when you when you buy clothes here it, it's it's like they make one style because they i guess expect you to tailor everything you buy not even tailor they, they just want to fit to uh, casually fit as many people as possible but like perfect fit here isn't as important no but for me it right. is it's like you know and that's why one of the reasons why Kobe and i love thrifting it's not just to get the good deal but we're all about fit right like i do not care what brand label I wear I really don't because I get more compliments and stuff that fit me better than I do for what label I'm wearing yeah 100% so when you find things that fit you well I mean that's gonna be the the basis of your whole outfit yeah it's the fact that it fits mm -hmm. but this place surprised us because again the prices were fair yeah there was a lot of selection yeah they have three stores and the, even the, the lady we spoke with there the, the person who worked at the desk was kind of thrilled with the fact that we were Canadians. And oh, we're, yeah. We started shooting some video because we're like, we're going we're gonna, to, we're reviewing this place. She's like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And she told us they had the two more stores, which we didn't know at first. We yeah. wanted to go check them out. But this was the final day. Yeah. We've done other videos on how we don't like to buy souvenirs. We prefer to buy memories. Yeah. This is buying this, a memory. This is buying a memory. Right? We had, we had so much fun. And the fact that I'm like, you know, <laughs> we found a thrift store in Copenhagen was just like a highlight for us. So yeah. we were so excited. Right? The fact that we came back with clothing. Mm -hmm. And it was not something we expected to do. No. Because <laughs> we've mentioned in other videos as well that when we go somewhere, we always look to see what, what do you buy when you're there? Right. What do you get? 
when you're in that particular country or that particular city. <laughs> and we, when we researched before going to Copenhagen, we're like, we're coming home with nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I already know. Like, 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 in Scandinavia, you come back with crystal. Yes. That's what you come back with. Yeah. So we have enough crystal already mm -hmm. as far as decorative crystal, and we don't need any crystal for our kitchen or anything. No. So we had no intention of buying, like, Royal Copenhagen uh, uh, porcelain or right. Aura Force crystal in Sweden or anything like that. So mm -hmm. we're like, we're not buying anything this, year, this time. We're just no. going to come back. Right? Yeah. But then we happen across this place and end up coming back with something. So you never know what you're going to find. And we love thrifting here. We've yeah. already done a couple episodes on thrifting in, in Toronto. Yeah. So getting an opportunity to do it there was awesome. It's cool. It's yeah. cool. Um, until next time, guys, like, subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any further episodes coming up. Because we get a lot, we get a lot more coming, <laughs> more on Copenhagen. Yep. Our absolute favorite sort of touristy place we visited just blew us away, and we'll be getting back soon. Okay. Till next time.